You're watching UNICEF Television. As joint military operations between Congolese and Rwandan troops drew to a close in the volatile Eastern DRC, UNICEF Deputy Executive Director Ms. Hilda Johnson visited the area. Ms. Johnson travelled north from the regional capital Goma to the town of Ruchuru, which, until recently, was under rebel control. The rebels have now disbanded, some integrating into the regular army. But still, those displaced by the fighting remain in camps, huddled up against a UN peacekeeping base. Here, UNICEF, Solidarité and other partners provide plastic sheeting for shelter, food, latrines and clean water, vital to staving off the ever-present threat of cholera. But it's not enough, as this woman explains to Ms. Johnson. Life in a camp is tough, and although the fragile peace is holding, it's still too soon to leave. There have been too many failed ceasefires here, too many failed promises of peace. She was saying, you know, I might as well die. You know, I've been through these horrors, and I, I just, you know, I can't stand it anymore. She was really depressed, and she had um, the sole responsibility for four children. This camp is completely packed. Uh, I've been to many IDP camps, I mean, many camps for displaced, many refugee camps in my life, but I have hardly seen anything like this. Ms. Johnson also visited a UNICEF-supported school near the camp. All the children here have been displaced, missing out on months of schooling. They are now trying desperately to catch up. Speaking in Swahili, the local language, Ms. Johnson asked the kids about their experiences. 14-year-old Gabua fled with little more than the clothes on her back. The fighting was so close to our homes. People were dying and we had no food, so we ran away from the rebels. But these are the lucky ones. These are the ones who got away. Since 2004, UNICEF has assisted in demobilizing and reintegrating around 30,000 children across the country, but an estimated 3,500 are still with armed groups. Ms. Johnson called for their unconditional release. The major issue for us now is to make sure that those children that are still with the, the combatants, that are still with CNDP and other rebel groups in the area, they have to immediately release the children. We need to ensure that the children are demobilized, get back to their communities and are reintegrated. Back in Goma, Ms. Johnson, who is co-chairing UN Action Against Sexual Violence and Rape in Conflict, visited the Heal Africa Clinic, where victims of rape and sexual abuse are treated and counseled. She spoke to victims and to the doctors and nurses that heal them. Ms. Johnson commended the government's efforts to end hostilities in the war-torn region but called for an end to impunity for perpetrators of sexual violence. She left the East optimistic, but like all those who fled their homes, like all those living in camps, admits it's too soon to tell where the peace will hold. This is Guy Hubbard reporting for UNICEF Television. Unite for Children.